I am going to be living in these clothes. They are really comfortable. Hi guys, my name is Annalise and welcome to my Brandy Melville haul. As you may or may not have seen on Instagram, the girls that shop at Brandy Melville, they seem to have the best Instagram feed. And who isn't trying to step up their Instagram game these days? I went to Brandy and they got me some pieces. I've always been a little scared of this store because it's a one size store. I'm five foot nine. No way this stuff's gonna fit me, but it did. It's also kind of nice not having to hunt around for different sizes. It's either it's in your size or it's not. I will have all my sizes and products linked in the description below. So what up, yip yap? Let's get this haul started. The items don't actually have clothing names to it, so I'm gonna have to name them. This is the black and white gingham, 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 however you say that word. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So we're just gonna refer to this as the picnic tablecloth print. I do like the print. The gingham trend I have been seeing everywhere. It's very in style right now. The shoulders have elastic in it, which begs us to wonder, the question you all are wanting to know, will it pass the off the shoulder test? As you can see here, it is passing our test. Wow, great job. Oh, okay. I also have some ties on the top so you can make the shoulders tighter. It's one size but has a nice stretch to the bottom so it can adapt to a couple different body sizes. It'll be cute with some jeans and some boots in the fall. I dig it. Overall, comfortable, nice stretchy piece. For those of you looking to show some skin, we have this black bodysuit. I really love how it shows off your back. The downfall is I feel like the straps are going to break and it's really scary every time that I put it on. I feel like the strap is going to snap right off. It also does show some side boobs. So if you have size D boobs are bigger, you're going to be showing off maybe a little bit more than you feel comfortable. This fits more like a size small, I would say. And no snaps, ladies, so you're gonna have to take it off when you use the restroom. I was wearing a body suit the other day and it had snaps, but I'm too tall. So the snaps, I would be in the bathroom for about 10 minutes trying to get them to reach down and snap. Sometimes it's nice having snaps, sometimes it's not. I don't really recommend this going out if you've had a few drinks because I could barely figure out the straps myself and I haven't been drinking. I like how it's ribbed. It's a nice, comfortable material and it does stretch. Next up was we have the current outfit that I am wearing. I love that the straps are a little bit thinner than normal tank tops. I feel like it makes the top a little bit more unique. Cause some tank tops I feel like look really cheap, but this one I think gives it just a different type of style to it. Has a nice fit to it. It is comfortable, it has stretch. It feels good on me. If you're an extra small, it might be a little bit big on you. It fits me really good. I like it. It's comfortable. It's not as long as I say normal t-shirts. It's a little bit shorter. The length is kind of just perfectly hitting the top of your jeans. I can see myself wearing this one a lot. And have these nice little snaps. So when grandma comes over, yeah, definitely grandma approves. Brandy's known for having just simple pieces. A lot of the clothes are a little bit plain, but they're comfortable. I am just in love with how soft this hoodie is. I have one exactly like this in another brand, and it just doesn't even compare because this one is so freaking soft. I never wear the other one because it's not comfortable, and it's actually probably around the same price point. But this one's just really, really comfortable. It has a nice crop. I like the sleeves if you're tall and you have long arms. It could be a little bit longer. But the sleeves are definitely a good length for someone who's got normal sized arms. Yes, long arms is one of the things that I was born with along with missing teeth. And I guess that means I wasn't born with teeth. That means I was born without teeth. I think it's a good price for a hoodie just because it's so soft. I like it. I could definitely see myself getting it in a few different colors. Now for seven bucks more, you can double the length of your hoodie. Here we have the long zip hoodie. Another super comfortable hoodie. This one I feel like is a little bit more comfortable than the crop hoodie, but the cropped hoodie is so comfortable. Look at the inside of the sweater. It is so comfortable. I could just live in this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do another haul because I'm just gonna be wearing this thing the rest of my life. I wish it was a little bit longer on my arms, but then that's me. I have long arms. So if you're getting your normal sized arms, you'll be fine. It has a really cute pale pink color to it. Overall, just one of the most comfortable hoodies I now own. I have a whole arsenal of hoodies. I am a hoodie collector. This is my first shirt that actually says LA on it. I've lived in LA for years. I'm officially a tourist now. This one's not as comfy as the two other jackets, but pretty freaking comfy. Has a nice faded look, so it'll definitely fit in with all my other faded clothing. Still wish my mom would wash all my clothes for me, and everything would still be nice and dark and not shrunk. I have a cool design down the sleeve. You could style this and have like an edgy street style to it. The only downfall is the wrist could be a little bit bigger. It just feel a little restricting, but they're not not tight, if that makes sense. The wrists are just a little bit more confining than the other pieces. Can't wait to do some street style photos in this. You can see the material on the inside is again that really soft feeling. I don't know what it is. Nice material. So those are all my clothing pieces that I got. I tried to find some shorts, but they did not have any. But who again is shopping for shorts in mid-October? Only California people. They have some new pants in style, but I wasn't really feeling them. I did get some accessories. I got this cute little backpack. A little bit pricey for a backpack, but it was my birthday week, so I'm allowed to treat myself. And I just thought of how cute it would look in the photos. I also have a backpack all the time I like to use instead of a purse. So much better on your back. I figure I should probably mix up the colors as well, so I don't look like I just own one bag. It's a little sad. When I got home, there was a tiny little stain on my tiny little backpack. 
back and it hurts my tiny little heart. Backpacks aren't returnable. I missed it. It's really small. Dang. It looks like, like it's like rust or something. I'll probably spill on it soon enough anyways. I also got this $6 bracelet. It's very small, very dainty. Also very hard to show you because it's so small. I love shiny pieces. It's only $6, which is perfect because I'm gonna probably end up losing it anyways. They have really good affordable jewelry there. So the other piece that I got from Brandy. Brandy really impressed me with how comfortable their clothes are. The price point is a little bit high for such basic pieces. They do have a sample size store in Santa Monica. I went to it, but it was closed. They only have a certain hours during the week. Would like to give today a shout out to Carol. She's amazing, she comments on all my YouTube YouTube videos, she makes me feel special. I really hope it's not my mom in disguise making me feel better about myself. If you wanna be the next shout on my YouTube video, simply go to my most recent Instagram video post and comment in orange. Leave me a comment below where I should do my next haul on. Make sure to like and subscribe. My name is Annalise. Thanks so much for watching. Later.